Yesterday, I picked up a little camera. This is a AKA SO. It's like a competitor with GoPro. Now, I've got a GoPro, but uh, I saw this reviewed on Amazon and everybody loved it. It looked like it and that the price was really affordable. So I grabbed it. I'm going to open it up right now, put an SD card in it, charge it up, and then put it to use. I'll let you know what I find. All right, so this is the uh, time lapse of the unwrapping of the box. It was pretty much straightforward. <laughs> And it'd be great in real life if we could open stuff and get it working that fast. So this process took about, I don't know, four or five minutes to open it up. I did look at the manual regarding how to get the plastic case off without breaking it and uh, put the battery in. And then I looked at the settings, which were pretty much straightforward. And, and that was it. And the, it was out of the box and ready to go. It looks pretty simple. So, so far here, this is actually quite amazing. When I opened this box right here, it just had, oh my gosh, just tons and tons of accessories and pieces and attachments and it looks like it has an extra battery so I put one battery in it's got a little external charger so you can charge both batteries or a single battery that's pretty amazing this camera is under seven I think it was like under 80 bucks um, so anyway it's got, I've got it charging now I'll put an SD card here in a few moments and then we'll put it to use also this is a remote uh, it's it's amazing so you put that on your wrist and you can start and stop just based on the remote which is pretty darn cool and then also one other thing I wanted to mention, oh, um, so you've got this case, so it looks like you can take it underwater to a certain depth. And uh, this plastic case here, uh, my first impression is that it feels like, this feels really cheap. Um, however, as far as the outside plastic is concerned, I'm not too concerned about that as much as I am the actual pictures. And oh, look at that. So, and you also need to take off all the plastic coverings. So I'll do that as well. That won't be fair to try to get good images through a little plastic protective piece. No, no. Yes, you're coming off. Ah, oh, I'm free, I'm free. Okay, so um, <laughs> uh, there you go, there's the camera. Uh, I'm gonna let this charge for probably 30 minutes. And then I'm going to uh, have this record me uh, doing time-lapse on, uh, on my elliptical this morning. Up to this point, everything up to this point has been done on my iPhone including the unboxing and the time lapse for taking it uh, out of the box. And uh, once I start on the elliptical, it'll be this camera doing the imaging. All right, see you soon. All right, so this is my workout. And I use a program called BitGym. I love it as a product. And so I did uh, Cardio Coach uh, episode one, which I think is about 30 minutes. So normally my workout starts closer to 6 a.m., but I did give myself a little time to unbox the camera and charge it up. And so I think based on the timestamp, I started my workout closer to seven. Okay, and also I set the timing for the time lapse to one frame every second. I think there's also options for every half second and every uh, 100 milliseconds and so forth. The other thing is when I connected this to my PC uh, to go ahead and download the images, it was a no brainer. Uh, so I have the, S the micro SD card in the actual unit right here. And when I connected it to my computer, the menu came up and said, hey, do you want to use this as a camera or as a storage device, meaning access the memory? So I just used the up and down arrows, selected use as a mass storage device, and then my computer saw it and I just brought the files over. It was really, really easy. So even though there's a lot of additional options and features on the camera, I don't know that I'll be using all those extra features. I just like the high quality and how simple it is. So in the final analysis, for under 80 bucks with all the attachments and the quality of the video and the features it has, I would say this is pretty much a no-brainer. Now, one of the other factors that plays into the decision on this also is uh, sometimes devices fall off, they get broken, etc. So if this costs 80 bucks and we have to replace it once or twice because of an accident, we crash or uh, it drops, we smash it, we run over it, whatever it is, not that expensive to replace compared to uh, a GoPro, which is a great unit. GoPros are great, but they're really pricey. So that also factors in. So um, if you're in the market for a little camera that can record, do similar activities as a GoPro, I'm going to tell you that this one is not a bad decision. So enjoy your day. I'll catch you in the next video.